What is going on everyone? Any Yashers here. We're playing some one verse one ranked joust and we're playing Hell. Or no we're not, we're playing Hades. We just played Hell. I was mentioning Hell because I thought I was playing against the same person. Is this person first banned Hell right after my Hell match with the last person. So I just assumed it was the same person. I troll banned Medusa because you know I just wanted to let them know that I knew it was them and they ended up picking Soul, which I normally ban. So I thought they were trying to troll me back by picking Soul. Minions have spawned. All right. So we're gonna start this red off. Hopefully we run into no issues. Now I got two points in my B because I'm looking to harass early. I got a power potion going. I'm looking to apply blight to these to heal up. That was the entire point of that. We ding level four. I have no idea where this person is. They're extremely late. I'm expecting them to come in behind me, but they're not there yet. Alright, so they got blue buff and went back, I guess. So I'm just gonna shove this into tower. Hopefully they don't know how to last hit under tower. They might, who knows. Just gonna hit some damage off. Didn't do too much. see if we get the kill before she gets out. We actually do get the kill. I was thinking that one was right on the edge. She almost got out of there with, you know, her stupid three. Broken as all fuck. We're gonna do that. Heal up. Shove into tower. I'm gonna come grab this red over here and then I'm gonna back. So we got the first blood already out of our power potion. Which is great. I don't want to hit you two. I want to hit the big guy. Actually, we're not even going to back. We're going to grab this, head right back into lane. Because I'm actually fairly confident that... her but that's fine all right she's gonna ult fine by me I think she's back she's backing again what okay so she's backing again that's fine and dandy we're just gonna shove a wave in so she's gonna be losing experience to the tower now because we shoved a wave in, we can start building. What the hell do I even want to build? I'll build some cooldown boots. She's soul. I guess I'm going to start that warlocks. Grab a mana potion. Grab two health potions. Just in case I screw up. Head back to lane. We got tier two of our warlock sash. And we got some cooldown boots. To ensure we can do our harassment. To ensure we can go in there. Fuck her world. All that good stuff, you know? Alright, I don't know where she is. So I'm just gonna enjoy the free damage on tower. Gonna get quite a bit. There she is behind me. That's 
fine by me. She took all that time to get her purple. Okay, she used her three to get out. I did not use my ultimate in that engage, so if I can get a fight relatively soon, I can ult her. Alright, she's ulting. It's gonna do her no good. At all. Gonna do that. Kill this wave off. I'm gonna hit tower a couple times just because I can. I'm gonna take three shots from tower for my three hits on it, but I really don't care. This fight seems like it's over already. So I'm just gonna take tower. And engage. Okay, so I'll do that and heal up. I guess I'm gonna actually try to pressure this. Just because I can. I've never tried to end a game super fast. I feel like I'm in a position where I can. I'll go ahead, Ult. Just to force her out. If she comes back in, I'm gonna kill her. Okay, she's not coming back in. It's gonna give me a lot of free damage off on this Phoenix. My minions are a super low level, so I guess they die in one hit to the Phoenix. So we're Hades and we're broken and we're fucking her. To put it lightly. And I think I somehow managed to miss every auto attack right there. Count. Okay, so she's gonna ult to secure blue. got the kill right there because you know we're Hades we're doing Hades things just because we can I'm gonna back off I'll finish my warlocks my power grows. I could grab a defensive item here I don't need to I'll grab the Obsidian Shard just in case she lets me keep poking at the the Phoenix. The Obsidian Shard's gonna give me some extra damage versus Phoenix. Besides that, I'm gonna go on ahead and go grab the red buffs. I'm gonna head to this one first. Just because we downed the blue on the other side, so she might come this way for purple decide to do the red buff just for the EXP. Just gonna make sure that doesn't happen. Alright, we'll get the kill. Nice and easy. She might just surrender at 10. She's gonna be up by the time I get over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and go clear this buff for the EXP. So I know I can kill her in one hit if I get my X and B off on her and she doesn't pop her 3 right away. 
Because if that if that those events unfold, by the time her three comes through for her, she's already dead. So I'm just being a dick right now. She's dead again. Don't know why people are spamming laughing when, you know, they're just dying. But it is what it is. It's gonna be up in two seconds. So she'll be up. We're gonna go ahead and get most of this. gonna go for me and I'm gonna just do that I'll go ahead and back here we're gonna come back to lane and I'm actually gonna come with Gaia stone just to ensure she can't do damage to me I don't I want to ensure that I don't throw which is highly possible when you suck no I'm just playing I, I think I'm pretty decent but I do end up making a lot of mistakes. Alright, she used her three to get out. And I wasn't even chasing. And there's the surrender. Bam. 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Hades versus Soul. We're 4 0. We're kind of wrecking tits. Just, you know, punching her in the cunt and whatnot. And we're just a bully Hades. We took control from the start. They were very slow when they first came to lane. They went to blue buff, got so low that they backed. So, I mean, by the time they came to lane, I was level 4 already. Halfway to level 5, I already shoved a wave. I think I shoved two waves, actually, into tower before they even managed to get to lane. So, I mean, they lost a good chunk of EXP. They lost gold. And, yeah, I mean, from that point, you're playing with a... You're playing from behind level with someone who has a power push and start. It's just not going to be a fun time, especially when it's a Hades who can jump in and as long as he applies Blight to the minion wave, he's going to heal like a fucking monster. So even if you trade with him, he's going to heal up. So, yeah. Hades vs. Soul. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. It really does help out and I really do appreciate it. You all take care and have a wonderful day.